on the back of your program. Matthew 4, verse 1 through 4. And Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he out of war and hunger. When the temple saw him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made free. He answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Just for a while this morning, I want to preach from this topic, passing the test. All right, all right. Passing the test. The test. Uh huh. All across the country, at the end of the school year, come. To a close. All right. There's a whole lot of testing going on. Amen, right. amen. It seems like they're either testing or preparing to teach. for testing. Amen. To go to the next grade or to the next level. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You must pass the test before you can graduate at any level. You must pass the test. Amen. Before you can be certified right. as a teacher, nurse, doctor, yes. lawyer, accountant, you know the list goes on. You got to first do what? Pass the test. Pass the test. Uh huh. Before you settle in as a mature Christian, I'm here to tell you, yes, you're going to have to pass. The test. Uh -huh. Before Jesus could start his earthly ministry, he had to pass the test. Amen. Jesus was not out of the will of God, nor did he commit any sin in being tested. All right. Understand that sin is not in the testing, the sin is falling to temptation. All right. All right. Okay, given Jesus' mission and his ministry, it, this testing was necessary. Uh -huh. Satan often tempt people when they are beginning to start to do something for God. All right, all right. He tried to derail God's servant before they can accomplish his prayer. All right. Satan relentless. Temper throughout our lives. Right. He will seek to tempt or test us at any time under different circumstances uh -huh. and in a variety of ways. All right, all right. Well, let us define this word. Even though they're used in the Bible sometimes in a change, but depending on the context, is what it means. Uh huh. The word tempt, as you see in the early verse, originally means to test, put to the test, or to try. All right, all right. Now, it had come to mean, particularly in the New Testament, to solicit to see. Uh huh. We are not greater than our master. If Jesus was put to the test, so are we. Guess what? Amen. Amen. We too. Amen. Amen. To try. To try. Put to the test. All right. And, 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 and I, I know a little bit of scripture. It says, God tests no man. Uh huh. If the scripture said God tests no man, then how are we put to the test? Uh huh. We heard and read in Sunday school, learned in Sunday school that God put the woman to a test. To a test. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. That depends on the purpose and the context of the word. Uh -huh. Now, originally, it simply means to test or to try. Uh -huh. But in the New Testament, it had more to mean to solicit 
to sin. All right. God will put us to the test. Yes. Yes. But he will not solicit us to, to sin. sin. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Alright. He did not respond by form, form of a miracle, 
Instead, he replied by citing Deuteronomy 8 and 2. Uh -huh. He said, man, talking about manna in the wilderness, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. All right. Now, we can expand and broaden the scope of the tip to include temptation of all material things. Uh -huh. Say, tempts us, yes. not just with bread. Bread symbolizes uh -huh. what it tempts us with. Money, automobile, yes. uh -huh. yes. hope, yes. education, furniture, yes. receive, and many other things. Yes. Doing the will of God and being obedient to his every word is more yes. important than food, yes. clothes, or any other thing right. there is. All right, all right. All right. He passed the first test. Yes. Uh -huh. Got an A. All right. Got a hundred. Move on, Move on. to the next test. Yes. All right. Remember, testing don't, don't stop. stop. Right. Amen. All right. Say you can't get you one way. You try another. You try Another. Amen, amen. That amen. Lead to the second tip. Yeah. Throw yourself down. Yeah. So they were to turn these stones to bread. The second was to throw yourself down. The second tip take it came quickly. Alright. Say to dad Jesus to jump off the pinnacle, the high point of the temple. Alright. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. Yay. It is written, He shall give his angel charge over thee. Yay. And thy hand shall bear thee up. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Uh -huh. Here he come again. Yay. If you really are uh, the Son of God, the son of God uh -huh. then jump off <laughs> this building. All right. And God said, He gave an angel charge on you, and you won't break your foot, you won't smash your foot, you won't crush your foot on the rock. Look at Satan. All right. One tactic after the other. All right. To get Jesus. Understand this. You will only be tempted, tested with. That which you're interested in. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. If you don't like strawberry, you just can't be tempted with, strawberry. with strawberry. Amen. Now, mango All right. might be something different. Okay. But if you don't like mango, make a pair. He's going to keep searching until, until he finds find yeah. something. Now, Satan knows the scripture. He quoted some. His angel will bear you up. The temptation here was to apply a problem. The temptation in, in the first test was to perform a miracle. Not because it was needed, all right, but to prove something to Satan. Now, if Jesus was home when he performed a miracle, turned those rocks to bread, that would have been okay. But Satan wanted him to turn the rock to bread to prove something to him. The second temptation was to misapply God's promise. All right, like we said, God, he said, you watch over me and drive down the road at 80 miles an hour. Don't tempt the him. All right. And the scripture said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord like you tempted him in Massa. And Massa, the folk was hungry. And they were thirsty. And they mumbled and grumbled against Moses because they had no water. Moses presented the situation to God and God told Moses strike the rock. Right. And he got water. Yeah. And then Moses, Moses told him thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. 
Right. He has promised to take care of us. All right. You can remind him of his promise, but don't tempt him. That's right. We also must be careful in our application of God's promise. The temptation is to call upon God for some immediate benefit. Come on, uh -huh. so Lord, you said you supply my every need. I need a car. I need a house. I need what I need. The key is to be diligent and, and seek God to bless us. Yeah. Yeah. He may not come when we want to, but he's right, but he's right on time. Amen. So he fared the second check. Then time to move on to the next level. Satan was taunting him. If you are the son of God. Yeah. I dare you. I dare you. How many of y'all, in particular, when you were young and didn't know it about it, couldn't stand to be dead? Yeah. Particularly if they dumb a dog. Dare you. Something crazy was. I dare you. Tell me all you want. I ain't jumping in the Mississippi River. Come on now. Well, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, that's what we don't know in the belly. Yeah. The point being, you don't have to fall to Sin or do something simply because someone dare you to do it. That's right. That's right. Satan's going to dare you to do it in every turn. That's right. And That's bring right. us to the last test. At this point, Satan stopped taunting Jesus, you know, if you be the Son of God. Yeah. And he does not give an uh, effort to call Jesus to sin. Uh -huh. All right. We read in verse 8 through 10 Satan. Take him to the exceedingly high mountain yeah. and show him all the kingdoms of the world yeah. uh -huh. and the glory and the splendor of them. And he said unto him, All these things will I give unto thee uh -huh. if you bow down and worship me. me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Say, take Jesus to the mountain top and he look out. Yeah. See all the glory, all, right. and all the splendor, and the earth and all this glory. Yeah. And he promised them to Jesus. Uh -huh. Satan built on a false claim. Amen, right. amen. He declared all these things yeah. I give unto you. Uh -huh. If you fall down and worship, and worship me. me. Uh -huh. Just one small act. Come on, worship. Come on. Just one small act of bowing down. Yeah. And all in world will be given to you. Will be given to you. Yeah. All right. yeah. Both Satan and Jesus already know that the kingdom in the world belong to God. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Because he 
is the ruler of the world, that didn't mean the rule the world belonged to him. Uh-huh. I used to be ruler of several high schools. Y'all call them possible. Uh-huh. Roller Boy, Transman, and Richard Douglas. The school didn't belong to me. Right. I just was the ruler. Okay. The world does not belong to Satan. Yeah. He is temporarily the ruler of the world. And one day, we're going to have to turn that swordship to a great right owner. This body is not ours. We're stewardship over. And one day, we're going to have to turn it back over to his right hand.
Amen. Amen. 